This is part 4 on solving your V-Cube 7 tutorial. Now, so far you have solved some of the edge pieces, all of the centers, and you're almost done. Now, to solve the rest of the edges, now let's find an almost complete piece right there. Orange and blue. Now you're going to find another orange and blue piece, which is right there. Now, as you can see, it, this is orange over blue, and this is blue over orange. So you're going to need to flip it so that it's correct. Now, you can put it up there. So that three by three bar. Rotate it. Put a random piece right there. And rotate it back down. Now, you have a three by three bar. You just need to find the rest of it. Find the other pieces right there. Rotate it, flip it. Now, well, you can't turn it to the right because of this full bar, so you're going to turn it to the left. Put, pull that up there, bring it down because it's a random piece, and you're almost done with that piece of the bar. Now, this is blue over orange. This is orange over blue, so you're going to need to flip this so that it's correct. there. Orange over blue, orange over blue. We'll take that up. But, as you can see, there's a finished bar right there. So you're going to need to turn this in there. Now there's not. Rotate it, pull that up, put it in the piece there, and rotate it back down. So now, you have complete bar, complete bar, complete bar. You didn't mess any of them up while well, you did all of that. So you're going to finish all the edges, and I'm just going to do this right now. And you can watch to see if you find any more examples that you need. Otherwise, you can just fast forward to part 5 if you want, which is solving the last um, two edges in solving the V cube 7. Oh, piece almost popped right there. Sounded bad. Hmm. Well, be careful, because you could pop a piece and that can seriously hurt your speed cubing, speed cubing time. Now, as you can see, there are two complete edge, um, edges right there, so you can't move this up, move it to the right or the left. So you can you move it up, move this down, or up, so that you have random pieces right there. Move it back down. Now, you have a complete bar, and you didn't mess any of the other pieces up. Now all you need to do is finish the rest of the cube. The rest of the edges, sorry. With the cube, I'm crazy. Now, you have solved all the rest of the edges, and now you are only on the last two. So as you can see, there's an unfinished edge right there, and an unfinished edge right there. That's not that easy to see, but this is green and orange, yellow, orange, green, orange, yellow, orange, green, orange. And this is yellow, orange, green, orange, um, y orange, yellow, green, orange, yellow, orange. So, it's not that good. Now there are some parodies after you're done solving these two, but they're pretty simple. Now as you can see, this needs to go up there. These two 
need to go up there, and these two need to go down here. Now do that, you're going to need to grip these three layers. Now if you only had to bring the corner pieces up to there, you would grab these two. So you would do this algorithm, um, left inverse, up to, left inverse, up to, F2, left inverse, F2, right, um, left, up to, right inverse, up to, left inverse, twice. And, it's a really weird flip, but you flip these pieces. Now, you need to flip these, so to do this, you're going to flip right here, so that you're going to flip these two pieces, since when you get these, it's going to flip these two, not this. So you're going to do the same algorithm. And there. All you need to do is flip the corners now. So you're going to get these two layers instead of the three. And you're going to do the same algorithm. Left inverse, up, up, up to, left inverse, up to, front to, left inverse, front to, right, up to, right inverse, up to, left inverse, twice. And now all you need to do is flip these two. So you're going to flip it over so that when you grip these two, you're going to flip these two. So you're going to do the same algorithm again. And there. Now, this is a parody when this is flipped the wrong way. And, no, this is flipped the right way. These... All the other pieces are flipped the wrong way. That's a parody, and you're going to need to do a special algorithm for that. Now, these are all in the right places, and now you have one edge left. Now, you're going to need to do this algorithm. D. R. 2. Um. Wait. 2. B. B. 2. Ugh. Hate this. B two U two it's wrong U two left U two R inverse U two R U two and then it's going to be R there we go F two L and there it's hot now you flip those. I'm going to put the algorithm up here. So, right now you have solved all the rest of your edges. And now all you need to put to do is put them in the right places. Now you can see this is blue and black. This is blue and black. So you, it, this is going to need to get put in between them. Like so. Let's find the other black pieces. Black and red. Which is right there, black and red. You're gonna flip the green so that this is connected to there. And all you need to do is flip it like that. And you have these two in the right places. Now this is orange and black. Flip it, move it out of the way, flip that back up, and you just move it to the right place, flip it, and there. The same with the green. Now, this is the trickiest part. You're going to need to get a, like, six-part bar. This is blue and orange, so you're going to need to get the black piece on the end with this blue and orange, so I'm just lucky that's in the right place. Once you get that, you're going to rotate this down so that when you put it there and rotate it back up, it's going to be between the black, blue, and orange so that you have that part done. Now, when you have the black, red, and green, you're going to find the red and green piece, and then... You can rotate this down to create the bar, move it out of the way, and then you're going to put it in its proper place by rotating this down, and there. Just like that. Now this piece is black, blue, and red, and this is blue and red. So 
right now it's not in its proper orientated place. So you're going to need 